Get the highest rated local weather app from the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. We are still in the 80s at the 10 o'clock hour, so you know it is very warm and it is very muggy, and we are not getting rid of this air uh, anytime soon. Take a look here at our heat wave that is just going to keep on going, really as we go through uh, now the short work week. So our heat advisory, as of now, goes through 9 p.m. on Thursday. I think it certainly could be extended through Friday, the way things are looking. We're looking at highs in the mid to upper 90s through the rest of the week, through the rest of the work week on Friday. Then very humid air settled in today, so that's going to stick with us. So you combine the two, we have a heat index the next few days between 105 and 115. Now, a few scattered storms will be possible. Pretty low chances for the next couple of days. Those chances will go up a little bit later in the week and into the first part of the weekend. Still no guarantee uh, you're going to get some rain, but at least there will be a, a few chances. And that's really going to be the only way uh, that we get any relief from Mother Nature to the high heat and humidity, and it would be brief. So here's live first warning Doppler radar. At least it's been dry for us to get in all of our fireworks shows uh, out there this evening. And the one along the Evansville Riverfront is over with now. But if you kind of look off in the distance there from the top of Fifth Third Bank and look closely, you can certainly still see uh, some individuals uh, still uh, setting off uh, quite a few fireworks. And I'm sure you can hear them around where you are, too. This is our superior ag tower cam in downtown Evansville, 85 degrees and it's 10 o'clock at night. And the dew point went up another degree from uh, our 9 o'clock hour. So it's at 73 now, and the wind is calm. So there is nothing to move around this very sticky air that's outside. And that dew point now right in the middle, well into uh, that very humid range. That's where we are going to stay. It looks like through Friday now. When I talk about relief over the weekend, we're not talking about anything down here in the tolerable or pleasant range. Uh, but we are at least going to drop down into just that humid category for the weekend. Kind of get us back to normal and at least feel a little bit better. Temperatures right now, though, don't feel uh, very good at all. We're all, for the most part, still in the 80s. And we are only dropping into the upper 70s tonight for overnight low. So we are going to start off very warm tomorrow, have another hot, very humid one tomorrow afternoon. Watching some scattered storms up here around the Chicago area. So this is a big ridge of high pressure and these clusters of storms kind of right over the top of it and then down to the southeast. Most of the models keep that well to the northeast of the tri-state later tonight and into tomorrow morning. And the Storm Prediction Center also keeping that main slight risk for severe weather to our northeast. We just have that isolated margin risk for a strong to severe storm down here in the tri-state. Our future tracker model, though, has been bringing through a few weakening showers and thunderstorms in the morning. It's the only model to do that. None of the other ones are. They're not giving us anything. And then tomorrow afternoon could see a pop-up shower or a thunderstorm. But again, not expecting too much, a lot like what we saw today. Tomorrow night and into Wednesday, we could again see just a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. So here's your forecast for the rest of tonight. Very muggy low, just the upper 70s. Sun and clouds tomorrow, just a few storms possible. Hot and very humid. Highs in the upper 90s, but a heat index tomorrow from 105 to 115. And that is the story again on Wednesday. Still mid-90s and triple-digit heat indices Thursday and Friday. But our chances for some scattered showers go up a little bit on Thursday to 40%. And then our best chance may come later Friday, if not Friday night, and into early Saturday with a cold front. Not a huge one, but it does at least kind of drop us down a notch with the heat and humidity for uh, the weekend. Gets us back to normal and gets us back to more sunshine, too. Good. Becoming a very serious situation for a yeah, lot of folks. This will be kind of our third round of highs in the 90s for so many days in a row. And this will be more like the first one we had in the middle of June. And so dry. Yeah. 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 Thanks a lot, Stacey. Well, when we come back, could you eat 63 hot dogs in 10 minutes? The champ of the 4th of July hot dog eating contest did.